Okay, everyone. Thanks for joining. This is Chris Palmasano coming to you from the Austinpreneur podcast studio for this webinar here uh, at the Capital Factory in Austin. Um, and I'm from Rocket Dollar. We're going to talk today about uh, the Solo 401k. Um, and this presentation is titled How the Self-Employed Can Save for Retirement. So we're going to walk you through the ins and the outs of the Solo 401k and what makes it such a, such a great product. I personally refer to it as the secret weapon of personal financial planning. If you're self-employed or have a side business or a side hustle, this is the, uh, the preeminent retirement savings vehicle for you. All right. And again, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Um, there's a feature here in, um, in Zoom which allows you to uh, submit a question. Uh, we'll take questions throughout. Um, and then, of course, I'll take them uh, all at the end. Uh, so first and foremost, uh, our uh, disclosure here to keep the lawyers happy, uh, Rocket Dollar Inc. and its affiliates do not provide tax, legal, or accounting advice. This material has been prepared for informational purposes only and is not intended to provide and should not be relied on for tax, legal, or accounting advice. You should consult your own tax, legal, and accounting advisors before engaging in any transaction. Uh, if you have any question about that, uh, please let us know. Uh, essentially, uh, caveat emptor. Thank you. Let's move on. Um, okay, cool. So let's run through the agenda. What are we going to cover today? Uh, so uh, I'm going to talk about uh, the self-directed solo 401k. What is it? Um, and in, in general, what's a solo 401k and then a self-directed version of a solo 401k? And then why a self-directed solo 401k is designed uh, for self-employed individuals and what makes it so powerful? We'll cover some of the basic rules and some of the contribution limits. I'll talk about how to set up a self-directed solo 401k, and you can use it for both the Roth contributions or, or traditional contributions or both. Um, and then how to find one or how to find an affordable one. Um, and again, if you have questions, feel free to ask or afterwards, if you have a specific scenario, um, something uh, individual or unique to you that you'd like to talk to us about, uh, we'll give you our contact information and you can reach out to us and we'll be happy to talk to you about it. All right, so this is me. Um, I'm the COO here at Rocket Dollar. Um, I got involved uh, in alternative investments, uh, mostly as an angel investor. After having worked in tech for a long time um, and living here in Austin, you start to see these opportunities left and right. Um, and so I started looking into that uh, and found that I, that I like it. I like being part of early stage companies. I like looking at young companies and seeing um, if I got something that I can help them with or some value that I can add. And uh, so uh, I do with uh, uh, some of my time act as an angel investor. Um, and then in the tech world, I've been in sales, marketing, business development, operations. I've had virtually every major job in a software company um, outside of uh, being an engineer. Um, in the last couple of course here in Austin, SolarWinds, which is also here in Austin, and then uh, Google, which has a couple of offices here in Austin. Uh, and went to business school at North Carolina. Okay. All right. So uh, let's dig right into it. Uh, so what is the real problem here? Uh, I call it a problem. It's taxes, of course. Uh, now, taxes aren't exactly a terrible problem, but they are something that we all have to deal with. Um, and uh, the IRS and the government's pretty clear about the fact that uh, these options exist. For, there are options that exist for us to lower our tax liability. Um, and as long as you're doing it properly, um, there's no issue with it. Uh, so, uh, if you're self-employed, you don't have some employer that's automatically pulling from your paycheck or that's saving into a pension for you. Uh, you have to do all this on your own. Um, it's totally an individual responsibility these days. Um, back in the day, everyone went to work for someone else and had a pension. That's just not the way it works anymore. Pensions have gone uh, the way of the dodo. They got way too expensive and companies didn't want to hold the liabilities on the books anymore. You might have seen recently that this has been a, an issue uh, that's perked its head up again as GE is going through some restructuring. Uh, in fact, one of our employees used to work at GE and got a letter in the mail about how his pension now has to get rolled over someplace. Um, so if he wanted to, actually, that employee could even roll it over to uh, a solo 401k. Uh, but uh, in theory here, the problem is, is taxes, and we want to limit how much we're paying in taxes so that we can save for our retirement at the same time. So what you're looking at here are the most recent uh, tax brackets for last year. And so uh, what the solo 401k does is allow you to make contributions that could potentially lower your taxable income and thereby put you in a lower marginal tax bracket 
um, and save you on how much you're spending in taxes. So instead of spending the money in taxes, you put it into your retirement account um, and you win. Uh, and at the same time, uh, you are paying a little bit less to the government in the, in the form of taxes. So you, um, you, f you open a solo 401k, assuming that you're qualified, you can save for your retirement, lower your tax bill, and you can do this every year that you have self-employed income. Um, and then what our version of a solo 401k does, and there are others out there that do something similar, um, is that it's a, a checkbook style plan that allows for you to make investments into uh, alternative assets. And alternatives can be anything. Um, and we'll get more into that. Um, okay, great. So a solo 401k plan is the retirement plan for this, uh, for a qualifying business owner with no employees um, and with a high level of contribution limit. So you can contribute up to $56,000. Uh, a self-directed solo 401k is the same thing, but this is often referred to as a checkbook 401k. Um, we call it a self-directed 401k, but it has some incredible investment flexibility. So you can invest in virtually any alternative asset that the IRS says, or, or that the IRS does not say that you can invest in. So some of the options that you can invest in are real estate. And we tend to see real estate in several different forms. The first one is people like to go out and buy rental properties with their IRA uh, and then rent them out. And all the rental income flows right back into the 401k. Um, and there's some uh, added benefits to doing that inside a solo K, and I'll get more into that a little bit later. Uh, we also see uh, investors and self-employed investors invest in real estate syndications. So a syndication is just when a real estate professional goes out and acquires a property and then chops up the ownership of that property to many people. Um, and then um, in this scenario, you or your solo K could become uh, a shareholder um, in that syndication or a participant in that uh, real estate syndicate. Uh, and then we also see uh, investors using the new uh, real estate uh, platforms online that might chop up a, a commercial real estate building in the Midwest into uh, a million different shares that they sell online. Um, it's called crowdfunding, which is the next bullet here. Uh, there's also, uh, there's about 50 different crowdfunding platforms uh, online today um, where you can invest in all kinds of things, startups. Um, we have lots of people, lots of employees at Rocket Dollar who have invested in startups through crowdfunding platforms. Um, at, at Rocket Dollar, we are big fans of a crowdfunding platform called Republic, um, and uh, we also uh, uh, we also have worked with uh, and facilitated investments onto virtually all of the major crowdfunding platforms. There's one based here locally in Austin called Micro Ventures that also does secondary offerings of, uh, of private stock, um, and we're big fans of Micro Ventures also. But you can also invest uh, into uh, lots of different types of uh, investment opportunities through crowdfunding. And there are even ways now to do crowd uh, lending. Uh, so think like uh, Prosper or Lending Club. Uh, you see loans on here. So we can do loans in a number of ways with a self-directed 401k. So one, as the account holder, you could issue promissory notes to another investor or to uh, someone with whom you might be doing business or to a real estate investor. You could also, uh, you could also issue loans to total strangers through platforms like Lending Club or Prosper, which do the hard work or the heavy lifting for you. Um, and that you could invest directly into startups. You could invest into startups through uh, syndicates. You could invest into startups through sites like AngelList. Uh, you could invest in startups through sites like MicroVentures, which sell uh, what used to be employee shares. This is called a secondary market. Um, and you see cryptocurrency here. So um, crypto has grown um, as an asset class. Um, over the last few years and it's becoming more and more popular. There's lots of different types uh, of cryptocurrency. Uh, Bitcoin is, of course, the big popular one. Um, and so you can come to Rocket Dollar, open a self-directed uh, solo 401k, and then uh, take your 401k and open an account in the name of that 401k plan or even an IRA over at uh, Coinbase or Gemini. Um, and then you can uh, make your cryptocurrency trades inside of a tax sheltered retirement vehicle, which should help make your life a little bit easier if you're investing in crypto um, and more. Uh, so we see the long tail of investments, uh, what the government or the IRS says you cannot invest in. This is important to know uh, life insurance and collectibles. So anything to do with a collectible, a collectible car, baseball cards, uh, wine, uh, alcoholic beverages, none of that can be invested in. 
um, and uh, the other one is life insurance. There's some weird ways to put life insurance into a solo K, but uh, we recommend that you avoid that. Um, we also see the long tail of investments here. So things like uh, different kinds of precious metals. Um, we've had people call us and ask about timber uh, and in other alternatives. Uh, but the popular ones are real estate, um, real estate and, and private companies or startups. Okay, so uh, who qualifies for a solo 401k? Well, you have to be self-employed. Now, you can have a full-time job. Let's say you work for, like here in Austin, you work for Dell or Apple, and Apple has a huge campus here, or Oracle during the day, but you have a side business where you're selling something online, or maybe you're a real estate agent uh, with a side business or a side hustle. You have to have self-employed income. So your sole proprietorship that you're running on the side would qualify in most cases. Um, if you have a limited liability company that you use for consulting um, or a side business, uh, in most cases, your um, your income that flows through that business would qualify for solo K. Um, in theory, um, any entity type, whether it's a sole prop, an LLC, a C corp, or an S corp, or and in some cases partnerships, uh, would qualify for a 401k. However, um, you cannot have any employees uh, other than yourself or your spouse. So as soon as you hire one full-time employee, you can no longer, that's not your spouse, you can no longer contribute to a solo 401k. The solo 401k was really designed as a, an equivalent to the group 401k plan, but for someone that owns their own business. So if you have full-time employees, you should be looking at a group 401k plan or something like a SEP IRA. Um, and so uh, the, the key thing here, the key thing to zero in on is that this has to be self-employed income. Um, okay. All right. Moving on. So the question here is, do you have any employees? Um, and the actual law here says uh, no uh, common law employees other than your spouse. Um, you can't have part-time employees, but if your part-time employees work more than a thousand hours a year, um, you're no longer qualified for the solo K. Um, so the, in, in theory here, the, or the way to handle this is typically to just not have any full-time employees. And you cannot have any employees in closely related or affiliated businesses. So where we see this become an issue, um, where this tends to pop up is with uh, full-time or real estate professionals. And real estate professionals, especially if there's a couple, husband and wife or partners that have a real estate business or you know a mini real estate empire where they got lots of different real estate companies, somewhere in there, there's usually a management company that has full-time employees. Um, and that's what would you know, typically be the primary disqualifier. So you really need to be careful here and make sure that none of your businesses have full-time employees uh, because that could get you into trouble with qualifying for a solo 401k. Um, and so uh, the question, what, what if I hire employees in the future or if my side business or my side hustle uh, becomes my full-time business? Well, in that case, uh, you'll have to stop contributing to the solo K. Uh, there are lots of different uh, group uh, retirement plan options. There's the SEP IRA, and actually we can help you with a SEP IRA here at Rocket Dollar also. Um, or, um, or you go look at a group 401k plan. You can call any of the 401k providers and they'll sell you one. Uh, Vanguard, Fidelity, uh, Schwab, um, any of the 401k consultants out there. Most of the insurance companies offer them. Um, and then you, you could take your solo 401k that you no longer qualify for and roll it over into a, a self-directed IRA and then continue to invest uh, very much in the same way that you were investing uh, with the uh, solo 401k with us. Okay. So let's get into some of the specifics around uh, some of the rules and in uh, how the plans actually work. Um, so you have a couple of different uh, contribution buckets. Uh, the, the primary ones are your personal contributions. So if you open a solo 401k, you can make this year up to $19,000 uh, in contributions. This is called the, uh, the employee salary deferral. I know it sounds a little weird because you're not an employee, but um, you are of your own business, so to speak. Um, and then the, uh, the company can also make contributions. Um, and so uh, if you have, uh, let's say you have a limited liability company that's taxed as a sole proprietorship, um, you would be able to bring, uh, if you have enough income, enough earned income that's flown through or that's come through that LLC and onto your individual tax return, you would be able to contribute another $37,000 um, if you have enough income into the employer or the company portion 
of that contribution. Um, and so uh, to have enough income, you're allowed to put up to 20% of your net self-employment income as that con company contribution. So this works out if you do the math, you've got to, make, you've got to be making well over 180 grand typically uh, from, your, uh, from your personal business or your in self-employed income in order to max out um, the solo 401k. Uh, so what I recommend you do, especially this time of year, which is why we're doing this uh, webinar now, it's the fourth quarter, we've got probably 40 something business days left in the year, uh, it's a good idea to talk to an accountant or a CPA or your tax advisor, or you can call us and uh, we might be able to share some, or we can share some tools and some resources with you for you to see what your income is going to look like this year and what might you be able to contribute to your solo K. Um, and so then uh, moving on, um, the solo 401k that we offer also has a Roth account. So you have a couple of options here. Um, if you want the tax deduction, you would put your money into the pre tax or the traditional bucket. Um, if you would uh, prefer to have that income grow uh, in perpetuity and be tax-free, you put it into a Roth account. Uh, and so we can support both. Um, your uh, Roth accounts, uh, there are no income restrictions, um, but it's all got to go in. Uh, if you're going to do uh, a Roth, uh, this is for your personal contributions. Um, there, are, uh, there is a, an advanced concept here called the mega Roth. Um, and for a solo 401k uh, account owner who has uh, a large income or enough income, um, you can actually contribute money into an after-tax bucket. So in this case now, if you're keeping track, we'd have three buckets, pre-tax, Roth, and then after-tax. And so your after-tax is where you can put the rest of your earned income that year. Um, and then if you'd like, you can actually convert it into a Roth. Um, it's called the mega Roth. Um, it can get a little tricky. Um, this is something that we provide support for with our gold account. So if that's something that you're interested in, let us know. Um, and then something else to know, catch-up contributions for people that are age 55 or above is $6,000. So you can add another $6,000 into your solo 401k if you're above age 55. Um, and that would go straight into your, um, uh, straight into your, your, your personal contribution bucket, so your employee's salary deferral. Um, and if you have, again, enough income to max out the account, now we're talking about $62,000 a year. So $62,000 a year that could actually be in uh, tax write-offs or uh, reduce your taxable income um, so that you probably end up in a lower tax bracket, uh, which is one of the reasons I call this the secret weapon of personal financial planning. This is extraordinarily powerful. Uh, the ability to deduct $62,000 from your income is, is pretty wildly powerful if you think about it. Uh, most people, when they think about an IRA, um, um, most self-employed people, when you ask them about a retirement account, the first thing they think of is an IRA, which typically has a contribution limit of around $6,000. Uh, but no, with the solo 401k, we can go well above that. Um, and if you're uh, at the catch-up age or above, uh, you've got the option of deferring $62,000 in income or even putting it into a Roth, uh, which, if you think about it, can be very, very, very powerful in the long run. Okay. Uh, let's talk about some other uh, other concepts that I think are really interesting and what uh, make this a really, really pop, uh, powerful vehicle for you to use. Um, so the solo 401k typically has a loan provision. Uh, the one that we offer uh, does have a loan provision. So essentially you can take up to $50,000 or 50% of the account value, whichever is lower, um, and uh, essentially take a loan to yourself from your plan. Just like people who work full time for Dell or you know Apple, they can take a loan from their 401k. Well, if you're self-employed and you have a solo 401k plan, you can take a loan from your 401k. And uh, the plan documents that you get from Rocket Dollar loaded into the dashboard has uh, the promissory note that you would sign from the plan to yourself to issue you the loan. And then you can transfer the money from your 401k plan to your personal checking account. Um, and do whatever you want with it. It's your money. You can take a, you're taking a loan and you agree to pay your 401k plan back um, at a market interest rate. Um, and interest rates are uh, it, historic lows, and I suspect they're going to stay there for a while. Um, the most recent Fed uh, rate uh, dropped again, uh, so the, the, the Fed keeps dropping interest rates. Um, I suspect they'll do that another two or three cycles. Uh, we're still in epically low uh, interest rates. Uh, we're kind of operating 
now, if you want, if you will, nationally at, in uncharted waters. But uh, interest, low interest rates, this is something that's going to stick around for a long time. Uh, so taking out a loan might actually be a good idea if you have an investment opportunity or if you just need the money for any purpose, really. Um, it's, but I, I really like having that ability to, to take the loan. It's your money, and then you're just going to pay it back to your retirement plan. And so you can kind of look at the interest that you'll pay back to the retirement plan as a almost a, almost a, a, a quiet or a backdoor contribution. Um, the mega Roth opportunity, which we already discussed, this is really powerful. Anywhere from fifty-six to sixty-two thousand uh, dollars of Roth money, which is going to grow tax-free, uh, and then you'd be able to uh, withdraw it in retirement age. Um, and pay no taxes on it, you know, which is wildly, wildly powerful. You can combine that with a Roth IRA. So you can, if you're making the conversion inside a plan, we call that an in-plan conversion. And so the after-tax becomes your, or goes into your Roth 401k bucket. You also have the option of taking that after-tax money and sending it to a Roth IRA uh, or a self-directed Roth IRA, uh, like the kind that we offer. And then also um, plans like the Solo K that we offer are exempt from UDFI. Now UDFI is unrealized debt financed income. Uh, and where this comes into play is real estate investors will sometimes take something called a non-recourse loan um, to buy a rental property or invest in real estate in a retirement account. So it could be a Solo K um, or a self-directed IRA. And that allows them to, to take a loan and start to uh, leverage their real estate that's inside the retirement account. If you do this with an IRA, you have to pay a tax uh, called UBIT uh, and a type of UBIT that's referred to as UDFI, as I reference here. Uh, the solo 401k is exempt from UDFI. So if you are a real estate investor and you're looking at investing in property with a retirement account, the solo 401k is the uh, premier account. It's the best option for you. Um, it is exempt from UDFI, which makes your accounting and your uh, account management much, much easier for you. Uh, it's a wonderful, wonderful opportunity. Not a lot of people really know this or understand it, even in the real estate world. Um, but uh, feel free to call us. We can walk you through how all that works. And then uh, the solo 401k can even hold limited liability companies or LLCs for real estate investment or other types of investment. It's really common for real estate investors, but any investor uh, could benefit from uh, potentially having an LLC inside of a solo K. Um, and again, something that um, you'd be surprised. Uh, most real estate investors don't even know about that. Uh, you could also open a brokerage account with your Solo K. So you can get the Solo K from Rocket Dollar and then go to, if you wanted, Fidelity or Schwab. Uh, Fidelity has a, an account called the non-prototype account. And you can open uh, a brokerage account with your Solo K if you wanted to or for a portion of your Solo K investments. Um, and Schwab also has an account called the company retirement account which you could then take the Rocket Dollar Solo 401k and go to Schwab and open an account there if you wanted to add some traditional investments into your Solo K portfolio. All right, so specifically, what do we do? Uh, Rocket Dollar, we help you unlock the retirement account so that you can invest uh, in alternative assets and build a really truly diversified portfolio. Um, there's uh, been an explosion of digital asset classes over the uh, last 10 years. Uh, the Jobs Act has now provided for opportunities in things like crowdfunding and investing in real estate online. Um, there's been a number of, of great platforms that have launched over the last, uh, even over the last five years. Um, and so uh, we are really here to, um, to make your life easy when it comes to investing in alternatives with a retirement account. We do all this digitally. Um, it takes just a few minutes to sign up. Um, we've got a, a, a wonderful dashboard that serves up all the documents where you can then request your transfers. Um, and uh, maintain your uh, your 401k or an IRA. Um, we've got APIs for partners, uh, so we can help partners uh, bring retirement funds onto their platform. Uh, and what I really like about this is, uh, like I mentioned before, you can go open a brokerage account with uh, your solo 401k plan documents. Um, this is really uh, this is really where retirement planning is headed into the future. Here, um, about building, it's about building a, a really truly uh, diverse portfolio, and that's not just stocks and bonds anymore. Uh, and a, a plan like ours or an account like ours is how you can get there. Uh, we now have uh, a new offering, uh, the Rocket Dollar Gold, which is a, a, a new service tier. And we've, uh, we will send you a checkbook. Uh, you can get a debit card if you want one. Uh, we also provide uh, 
uh, a high level of phone support uh, and expedited transfers. We cover a couple of the wire fees that you might incur as you're making your investments. Uh, so a really awesome product. Um, it's uh, clients are, are responding to it really, really well. Um, give it a look if you're uh, in the market for a, a solo 401k. Uh, something else to know uh, is that the solo K um, has to be open by the end of the calendar year if you want to be able to take tax deductions for next tax season. Um, of course, taxes are uh, tax season runs right up there through April, um, April 15th. Um, and if you have an S corp, you've got to file in March. Uh, so it's always a good idea to get that solo K opened uh, now. Um, some of the other uh, benefits, look, look, you can just look at the list here. There's a long list of benefits for the, for the gold account. Um, yeah, so we do cover uh, some, of the, some of the wire transfers. Um, you can, if, if you're concerned about privacy, you can get a custom name for the limited liability company. Um, you do get priority support. We will assist with Form 5500, which is the annual report to the IRS for a solo K. It needs to be filed if accounts are have a value above $250,000. And if you're going to do a mega Roth uh, or convert to a Roth, uh, we'll file the 1099 for you as well. Uh, the core account, still a great account. Um, that's the basic account for you to get up and running um, and is probably best for people um, who are just getting started. Okay, uh, so uh, we've covered quite a bit here. Uh, I'm gonna go and take a look at the questions uh, and we'll see if, uh, if anyone's got questions for us. Okay, so uh, Tim, looks like you've got a question. You've raised your hand. Uh, we can. You want to chat your question over to me? Okay, we'll wait a minute or two for questions. Okay, here we go. How do I fund or transfer my solo 401k? Yeah, good questions. So the funding mechanisms, once you get the account open, um, we will, uh, we will uh, part of your solo 401k includes a bank account. And so all you really need to do is make a transfer from your business account, so your business checking account, wherever that is, uh, into the bank account that's now part of your solo 401k, uh, and then record your transaction as a contribution, um, and you give that to your CPA or your accountant at the end of the year. Um, and like in the case of a limited liability company or a sole prop, you'll record that on your, uh, on your 1040, um, as a contribution to um, as a contribution to a qualified plan, uh, and your CPA or your accountant will know how to do that. Um, and then uh, transfer. So if you have a solo 401k or a 401k plan, or even an IRA someplace else, and you qualify for a solo 401k, you can transfer that account or roll it over to your new solo 401k with Rocket Dollar. Uh, we have a transfer kit, and after you sign up for an account, you'd be able to go in and fill out the transfer form. 
um, that's uh, digital, it's on the dashboard. You just click on the transfer icon, fill out the, fill out the form, and then we'll process that transfer for you. Um, and then once, those, uh, once the cash comes over, um, you can drop it into uh, the same bank account that goes with your solo 401k, as I was just talking about. Um, and then if you have assets that you're transferring over, give us a call and we can talk through that. Can I take out a loan for my self-directed 401k uh, or self-directed IRA with Rocket Dollar? Um, yeah, good question. So you can take out a loan from your self-directed solo 401k. There is a loan provision. The documents are all inside the plan. Um, but uh, you cannot take a loan from a self-directed IRA. And that's the primary difference between one of the primary differences between the two. Okay. Okay, it looks like we got another question coming in. What are the assets that I can actually invest in? Yeah, so you can invest in almost anything except life insurance and collectibles. So that's stocks, bonds, mutual funds. You can do all that through a brokerage account um, that you can couple with your Rocket Dollar Solo K. You can invest in all types of real estate. Uh, you can invest in uh, cryptocurrency. You can go do crowdfunding. You can issue promissory notes to uh, to other investors. Uh, so the, I mean, the, the, the options are virtually limitless. Um, we have a long list of what you can invest in in the knowledge base on rocketdollar.com. Let's see, do we have any other questions? Okay, folks, uh, again, you can reach out. Uh, it's just chris at rocketdollar.com. Uh, thanks for joining the Solo 401k webinar. Uh, and do remember, if uh, you're planning to use a Solo 401k or thinking about it for uh, the 2019 year, you need to have the account open by the end of this year. Uh, this isn't like an IRA where you can make contributions um, in March to a brand new account and, and count it for the previous year. You have to have the account up and running by the end of the year. Uh, so give us a call if we can help you with anything or drop us a line. It's just chris at rocketdollar.com. Thanks and have a great day.